So I'm sitting there and I'm watching The Secret. I've seen The Secret like a bazillion times and I love it. I, I think that the, um, the psychology of drawing things to you is one that is profound and uh, often is not talked about enough. But on this particular occasion, I was disturbed by something. And, I, and I'm sitting there and my spirit starts to kind of crinkle like you, like that paper on a, on a, a, on a product that you've, you know, you're just trying to tear open, right? And so my, my, my soul is crinkling and I'm trying to figure out what is bugging me about the secret. I mean, I've watched it a million times. I've loved it. I, I, I've subscribed to a number of the, the ideologies and the methods that they, 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 they try to implore in that particular video, but something is aching me and I figured it out. The secret is all about what I can do for me. It goes counterproductive uh, to, to how the world works. It, it goes counterproductive to our God-given nature. One of the things that, um, that, that, that's real interesting is when we think about the secret, it talks about how I mentally bring things to myself so that I might add things to me. And that's counterproductive to how we're to, to respond with the world. And so when you do what you're supposed to do, what you're doing is that you are multiplying and you are replicating, not for yourself, but for somebody else. Trees and fruits don't boast how much fruit they have. Trees don't go to other trees and say, I have, you know, 4,000 apples. And the other tree says, I only have three. Because the fruit is not for them. One of the biggest things about the secret, and, and, and I figured out the real secret, which is that I don't multiply unless I'm doing for somebody else. The danger in some of these, the, 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 the pop psychology is that they want you to become the center of the universe. They want you to become um, not only the, the, the fruit producer, but the fruit eater. But everybody knows that you cannot get high on your own supply. And so as I do this, this readjustment in my thinking, I'd encourage you to be critical about the things that you let in your eye gate and your ear gate. Let, be critical about what people are presenting you and ask as they're presenting this stuff, is this stuff to benefit me or is it to, designed to benefit somebody else? Because I want to say you can't be powerful unless you're figuring out how to serve somebody else. The, the, the highest calling that we have is to love ourselves and then to love others. And if we are not loving others, we are wasting our time. Don't let the secret be a secret.